21st of December 2012, the date prophesied by the Mayans as the end of an epoch of time, is only days away. Is it to be a time of Earth cataclysm? Or is it a new beginning for humanity? The beginning of a new age of peace and plenty? Legends handed down in many of the sacred teachings of diverse and distant cultures, all tell of a time of human challenge and Earth upheaval, giving way to a new beginning for the Earth, a new golden age. The Mayans, the writings of the Hindu text, the Mahabharata, and the ancient writings of Greece, Rome, and Egypt all tell a remarkably similar story. The 20th century channel Edgar Cayce and the 16th century seer Nostradamus all said much the same thing. We are obviously not alone here on Earth. There have been thousands of documented sightings of UFOs and extraterrestrial beings in the past 100 years. And like it or not, incredible technological feats of construction, such as the pyramids of Giza, cannot possibly be the work of human hands and human design machines. The perfect geometrical alignment and complex construction of the Great Pyramid could not be replicated even in today's world. My name's Judy Satori. I'm a spiritual channel, and for the past 15 years I've been taught by spirit to speak many different languages of light from other dimensional realities. At this time of Earth transition, I've been asked by these star beings to deliver a series of messages to the people of the Earth, so that people everywhere might be informed of their imminent arrival. They say to you, we're coming soon. We bring this message to you so that you might be prepared, and so that you might be ready, so that when we come you will not be afraid and you will understand. Their message is about us as human beings finally coming of age and together with them co-creating new life within this galaxy. They are here to stand beside us and help us transition through this time of change and challenge to together create a new age of peace and prosperity on Earth. Be guided by how you feel when you hear these words. Let the opening into love that you will feel within your heart and the quickening of the energy behind the words as it flows into your body be the yardstick and barometer of the truth. This is what I am told. A long time ago, in a time known by the ancients as Septifi, the first times, the Galactic Council of this Milky Way galaxy decided to create a new upgraded species of people for the Earth. The indigenous people of the Earth at that time were mired in repeating cycles of death and destruction, and did not have the genetic ability and the spiritual capacity to advance and move beyond these cycles. They had lost their way as the earth had also lost its way and fallen in consciousness and vibration from a fifth dimensional star called Tahara to a third dimensional planet called Earth. The creator gods and the star nations within this galaxy were troubled. They wished to redeem the earth beings and felt that the only way they could take the earth and her people forward was to create a new human species and to seed the earth with this new, more advanced human DNA. This great experiment in human creation occurred around 100,000 years ago. The new, more advanced human beings were brought to the Earth and began to intermarry with those who were already here. Many beings from the stars also chose to incarnate on Earth to take on the new DNA coding and so help the Earth move forward. Many of these star beings are human looking. This is because they created us to look like them. I'm not 
The star beings tell me that since that time, four cycles of Earth procession of the equinoxes have come and gone. Each cycle of Earth procession, called a great age or great year, comprises 25,920 years. This cycle of procession involves a gradual shift of Earth's axis of rotation, a slow, revolving wobble of the Earth on its axis. However, the angle of Earth tilt and its relationship to the Sun and other heavenly bodies remains the same. As each of these cycles came to an end, and the Earth realigned with the energy programming center at the heart of the galaxy, the galactic center, a new cycle began. And as it did so, a shift in the electromagnetic energy entrainment between the Earth and the galactic center also took place. The ending and beginning of previous Earth cycles may also have coincided with cataclysmic Earth upheaval and destructive climatic events. In recent years, scientists have reported an extensive area of ice melt in the Arctic, but overall the massive polar ice is increasing in the Antarctic. The Earth has already tilted at least 26 degrees on its axis. This is documented scientific fact, and this increasing shift of Earth's axis tilt is changing our weather and climate in an unprecedented manner. The star beings tell me that a control pole shift is underway, culminating with a final shift in the Earth's angle of torque, the Earth's angle of rotation or axis tilt, which will take place on the 21st of December with continuing Earth changes through 2014. The 21st of December this year is the end of a 25,920 year cycle on Earth. But the star beings tell me that this new beginning will be different. They say that at this time of transition, Earth is finally to come of age and be recalibrated to a fifth dimensional vibration. A new fifth root race of human beings is to be created. What this means is that the 12 strand DNA potential that we now all have as human beings will be able to be activated within the faster pulsating energy environment of a new fifth dimensional Earth. It was not possible previously while the Earth was vibrating in the slower pulsating rhythm of the third dimension. But soon it will be so, as we are Earth beings calibrated to Earth's frequency. With the Earth's shift to the fifth dimension on the 21st of December, more of the innate cognitive power and potential that was always part of our original genetic code will be activated. DNA material that previously has been turned by scientists as junk DNA will begin to be switched on. The capacity for us as human beings to use our mind in more empowered ways will be increased. In truth, with the Earth's shift to the fifth dimension, we are all being recreated and upgraded both in consciousness and in physical form. At this time of new beginning, many beings from the stars are coming again to the Earth to help humanity chart a course through stormy waters and begin a new planetary cycle of conscious galactic co-creation. After this fifth great age begins on the 21st of December, many representatives of the star nations of this galaxy will come to walk among us here on Earth. They say that so many will come that no government will be able to deny this or cover up the truth. In turn, they will help our world governments chart a new path of progress and vision for the Earth, so that working together as one galactic people, we will right injustice and ensure that all upon the Earth have equal opportunity. Their message is positive. They say be heartened by what lies ahead. They assure us that our thoughts of fear are merely a release of old, outmoded consciousness vibrations that are falling away from us now, like a snake shedding its skin. They understand that old viewpoints and conditioned ideas of reality may require mental readjustment. But this is quickly done if we just allow ourselves to be and be with what is. They say, when we come, we will come quickly, and we will come in large numbers. You will see huge ships of light in the skies above your city. No one will be able to deny that we are here among you. When you see these irrevocable signs in the skies that we have arrived, 
please welcome us with the consciousness of love. As you too came from the stars, and we are like family to you. We work only for your highest good and greatest well-being. In the years ahead, we wish to assist you in many areas of technology to advance the earth and create abundance, health, and happiness for all. Together, we will recreate the pure light and original beauty of Tara, the earth as it once was and will be again. The time of our coming is at hand. Practice love and goodwill. Be kind to yourself and to others. Become aware that thoughts that are critical or condemning will fly like a boomerang back to you. So be mindful of how you think and how you act on these thoughts that are your own creation. The most important thing we say to you is this. Be at peace and know that all is well.